Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on an unexpected sunny Saturday morning. Right now, I'm a man on a mission. I'm heading to Jars of Dust, which is also right there on the alley with North End Bag Company and Three Ships and all that kind of stuff. They're having a sale today on one-off-y bits and pieces, more or less. So I'm gonna go check it out and see what they got and, and you know buy some shit that I think she wants. Since it's such a gorgeous day out and I wasn't expecting it, in all likelihood, I'm gonna go around and do some filming. Holy shit, it is lined up out to the fucking street. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, I guess I can stop recording. It's lined up out to the street now, which means I'm gonna be standing there freezing my ass off. This is gonna be fun. And it's a really small store, so that many people are not gonna fit in there when they open. Uh, well, they're already open. They opened at nine, so that means that the people are still waiting. <laughs> Okay, that was an interesting little excursion. I was absolutely not expecting so many people to be there. It did move rather quickly, but the problem was is that that, that entire group of people that was in front of me got all the good shit that, that she was hoping I could get. But there was no way that I was gonna stand in line freezing my ass off for that long and not get something. So as usual, monkey style, I went a little over board and I got two black plates, a peach bowl, and a white soap dish. Well, I just left Best Buy. I intended to go there just to look around, you know, at, at whatever. And as it turns out, I noticed whilst I was looking at my phone on the way there that my screen protector took a pretty good hit and it was cracked all the way across. But like the girl said, better your screen protector than your screen. So that's pretty much it for that. I think I'm gonna go home and regroup because I feel like I'm carrying around too much stuff with me and it's starting to bug me. So I'm gonna go home, take all the pottery, uh, you know, get the screen protector switched out and all that shit, and then kind of decide what I want to do for the rest of the day. All right, kids, it's been a strange day. Uh, the usual cluster of me going back and forth all over the place doing weird shit. The last thing I did, I, it was like four o'clock, and I was sitting in my office at my desk like I usually am, and as has been the case for a while now, I started coughing and just to, not because I'm sick, but because there's so much freaking dust in our place because we never dust. And I hadn't vacuumed for like, I don't know, eight years. My entire office, there, there was that little cabinet, like the, almost like a curio cabinet that I have a bunch of work shit in on the bottom with the, with the closed doors, but on the top there were like three or four shelves, including the top. And I just had, I don't know, like memorable things out. I can tell you that at this point, I just don't give a shit to have anything out now because it's in the way and, and then it's a pain in the ass to dust stuff. I'll tell you what I did is I went to freaking Target and I bought more Rubbermaid things and I put it all away. I stored it all. I, I, I got two of them filled. So I went through the magical drawers and, and I cleaned, I think, three of them out. Two of them I emptied and then put other stuff back in. So I've got a lot of stuff from my Godox lights and my aperture lights and some other stuff that was just sitting there collecting dust out of camera sight. And I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. Like I'm not even using this stuff because I've come up with alternate solutions to power everything or charge everything. So it's just sitting there, it needs to go away. So I packed it all up high up on, on one of the shelves. And then I took this, like all the lighting shit and that went into a magical drawer. So it, it's accessible. I don't wanna have to go down to the garage and climb up there and do all that shit and pull that stuff down. So. Now, all the stuff is off the shelves. It's all been dusted. The little unit that holds the magical drawers, I took everything off the top. There's nothing on top of there now, except for Doink, my, my monkey with the banana. And everything on there has been put away somewhere where it belongs, but not just out on the shelf. Pretty much now, my office, with the exception of like the monopod, the carbon fiber, birding tripod, all that's right there. So I might have to come up with a different solution for that because I don't always use that stuff. So it doesn't need to just sort of be sitting there. But for now, my office is probably the cleanest it's been in years. 
because I dusted everything and I got rid of all of the clutter. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I'll probably then do the bedroom because those are the two rooms, obviously, that we're spending the most time in upstairs. They, uh, I'll just have to dust the bedroom. And unfortunately, it's not just, I really, I really don't have anything in there except for my inversion table, you know, and my end table, my night table, whatever you want to call it. So that is going to have to be, I'm going to have to go, oh, it's disgusting, the amount of dust that's in there. So I'm going to have to clean all that shit out and do something with it because it just doesn't need to be there either even if I just take it and shove it in the drawer that's on the bottom of that thing, and then dust and then vacuum again. I just I want to eliminate as much dust and shit in our place as possible and stop coughing and stop having dust all over the place and stop having cracked, you know, bloody sinuses because it's so dry in there because there's so much dirt and dust. Wah. Okay, that's it. I ordered us burgers and fries and tater tots and all that shit, and I'm going to go in and pick it up. That's all I've got for you today. It, another weird day, again, of going all over the place. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.